Welcome to Hook and Loops, I'm EJ Hart. Today I am showing how I make my long oval baskets. This is a 20 inch basket. This is the biggest one I've made so far. I made it using the knit stitch and I added some drop stitches at the top for decoration. Tools needed. 10 millimeter hook, one inch wide t-shirt yarn. For best results, use 100% cotton, scissors, four stitch markers. For a 20 inch basket, chain 24. For a 10 inch basket, chain 12. I am using a 10 millimeter Yarnology hook that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and I've cut my 100% cotton t-shirt yarn into one inch wide strips. Okay, I'm going to begin by forming a slip knot and I'm going to hold my yarn with the short end over the long and I'm going to pull up that long end through that loop to form a slip knot. I'm going to put my hook into the slip knot and I'm going to do a chain. I'm going to put the yarn over the hook and I'm going to pull that through the loop that's already on the hook. I'm going to put it the yarn over the hook and pull it through the loop that's already on the hook. For a 20 inch basket, chain 24. For a 10 inch basket, chain 12. Crochet the chain tightly. I'm going to skip that first chain from the hook. I'm going to put in a single crochet into the second chain. So insert your hook and hook onto the yarn and pull it through and up. Yarn over and pull that through both of those loops that are on the hook for a single crochet. I'm going to put two more single crochet into the same stitch. So I'm going to reinsert my hook into the same chain, pull the fabric through and up, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops for a single crochet. I'm going to reinsert my hook into the same chain stitch hook on to the yarn and pull it through. I have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. I'm going to go into the next stitch and put in one single crochet into the next chain stitch. I'm going to insert my stitch marker into that stitch I just made. I am using uh, some yarn for my stitch markers, but it'd probably be easier if you use the plastic ones that you buy at the store. I am going to put in one single crochet into each chain stitch, except for the stitch at the end, which was the slip knot. I wanted my basket to be a little bigger than 10 inches, so I chained about 15.
Okay, this is the last single crochet stitch. And now I'm going to put a stitch marker into this stitch. I'm using this slip knot at the end as a chain stitch, so I'm just going to loosen it up so I can get my hook into it. I'm going to be putting in five single crochets into this chain stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook, pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through both loops. There's one, two, three, Four, and five. Now I'm going to continue working around and I'm going to work into the other side of this chain stitch. I'm going to put single crochets, one single crochet into the next stitch on the other side of the chain stitch. And I'm going to put in a stitch marker into this stitch. Okay, I'm going to put in one single crochet on the other side of the chain stitch. One single crochet into each stitch on the other side until you reach that last chain stitch on the end. I've got one more single crochet to do and I want to insert my stitch marker into this stitch. Okay, I'm going to put in one more single crochet into that chain stitch at the end. And now I'm going to slip stitch it into the first single crochet stitch that we did. I'm going to insert my hook into the top and pull the yarn through and pull it through the loop that's on the hook for a slip stitch. Now I'm just going to go back and insert my stitch marker into that last single crochet on the other side. 
Okay, mine is curling up just a little bit. I crocheted a little too tightly. I'm just going to stretch it out into shape. Consider subscribing to Hook and Loop's channel. It's free and it's an easy way to find part two. Just click the icon and click subscribe.